What's up guys, my name is Dale from Creator Pro website and today I'm gonna show you how to create a menu in WordPress. And if you need a WordPress website or maybe you have one and you just want it to look more stunning and professional, then you can click on the very first link in the description and that will take you to a tutorial that will show you how. So I'm gonna show you how to create a menu that looks like this and I'll even show you how to create a drop down function in case you need it. So let's get started. First, just bring up your WordPress dashboard and then from here, just go up to the top left and click on Visit Site. Then just simply click on Customize. So I'm using the Astra theme, and this is a very popular and user-friendly theme, especially if you're just getting started with making a website. So I highly recommend it, but you can use any theme that you want. So let's just go down to Menus, and this sidebar over here on the left is gonna look slightly different if you have a different theme, but you should have a Menus function. So just go ahead and click on that. And then from here, you'll see that you have a top nav menu already. So we're just gonna go ahead and click on that. And then you can see all of the items that are in this top nav. And then you can see that these same items are over here on your menu up at the top right. So now we're just gonna go down and delete this menu because we're gonna start from scratch. So I'm just gonna scroll down and then click on the delete menu button. And now we can move on to creating a new menu. So in order to do this, just click on the create new menu button right here. And then you'll just wanna give it a name. So I typically just call it primary menu because this is the primary menu location. So from here, you're gonna be able to choose a location and depending on your theme, you might have a few different locations that you can put it. But I'm just gonna go ahead and click on primary menu and then if you wanted to put this exact same menu in your footer, you could just check that box right there, but I'm just gonna stick with primary menu for now. And then just click on next. And now you can see that this menu area up here is blank. So what we wanna do is add items to it. So just go ahead and click on the add items button. And then here you've got a few different categories like custom links, you have pages, posts, categories, tags, and formats. And what we're gonna be focusing on is pages. So just go ahead and open that up if it's not already. And then you can see all of the pages that you have created already. And maybe you don't have a lot, I will show you how to create new ones. So if you wanna add one of these to your new menu, you can just go ahead and click on it. So I'm gonna click on About Me. And now that's gonna add that over here on the left, which is gonna update in our menu up here at the right, which I will show you in just a second. So I'm just gonna add a few more, like Services, Web Design, and Contact. So now in order to see it, you can just go down to this little hide controls button at the bottom left and close that. And you can see that they're now all added to our menu. And if you wanna rearrange the order, all you have to do is just open this back up by clicking on this little blue arrow again. And then you can just click and drag. So let's say I wanted to put about me at the end. I would just click and drag down and drop it there. And then now about me is at the end of our menu. And all these pages over here on the left, you can see if you go back to your dashboard, and then you just click on Pages. You can see all of these pages right here. So now let me show you how to create a new page right from the Customize menu. So now we're just gonna go back to our website again. And then I'm just gonna click on Add Items. And then right here you'll see Add New Page and you can just give it any name that you want. So for this one, I'm just gonna call it Gallery. And then just click on the Add button. Now that's gonna add this to this menu over here on the left, and it's also gonna add it in your WordPress dashboard of pages. So what I'm gonna do is just click on Publish to save my work. And then I'm just gonna go back to our WordPress dashboard and then refresh the page. And now you can see that Gallery has been added right here. And by default, this page is gonna be completely blank. So if you wanna add content to that page, then you could just go underneath the new page and then click on edit. Okay, so now let me show you how to create a drop down menu. So to do that, just go back over to your website. And then all you simply have to do is drag whatever item you want over to the right to create this little stair stepper effect underneath whichever one you want it to drop down from. So now, as you can see, when I dragged web design underneath services, Services now has this little arrow where you can find web design. And now web design is out of our main menu up here. And you can drag as many of them as you want. So I could drag all of these underneath and that's gonna create an even bigger drop down menu where you've got all three. And that's it. So if you'd like to learn how to create a WordPress website in just 10 minutes, then just click on this video right here. 
Or if you'd like to learn how to create a contact form in WordPress, you can click on this video right here. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.